Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Dentistry to the Point. This is Dr. Drumil Manik. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the second division of trigeminal now that is maxillary. Now we have already discussed about the third division that is mandibular now and also the otic ganglion. So if you guys haven't watched that video, then I would suggest you to watch that video. Also now coming on to our today's topic that is maxillary now. So after dividing into three, that is from trigeminal ganglion, the trigeminal now is going to divide into three branches. This we all know that is ophthalmic, maxillary and mandibular. He, the first and second division are purely sensory and the third division is a mix now. That is also an information which you guys need to remember. So after jabbi ye divide ho jayegi, the second division of fifth cranial now that is maxillary now will divide. Abhi maxillary now apni branches four alag alag four different anatomical locations pe degi. It is going to give its branches into four different anatomical locations that is first branch will be given in the middle cranial fossa, second in the pterygo palatine fossa, third on in the infraorbital canal and fourth on the face. So these are the four different areas. You can differentiate the colors. First is middle cranial, then green is pterygo palatine then red one is infraorbital and black is on face so there are four different colors for four different parts so before exiting the cranial fossa or before leaving the middle cranial fossa the maxillary nerve is going to give a branch in the middle cranial fossa and that branch is your meningeal nerve so first branch of maxillary nerve will be meningeal nerve which is going to supply the meninges itta clear hai ki first branch kaun si hui meningeal now so this you forget now this is your first it is the now after now it has to leave the middle cranial fossa now for leaving the middle cranial fossa it is going to cross a foramen and which foramen it is foramen rotundum so after crossing or passing through foramen rotundum it is going to exit from the middle cranial fossa so just before leaving the middle cranial fossa it is giving one branch that is meningeal branch and it is going to supply the Meninges. Now, after leaving the middle cranial fossa, now comes the second division. Now, the second division is second division at which it is going to give its branches is pterygopalatine fossa. Now, dusra division kaha aage? Pterygopalatine fossa pe aage. Now, here also it is going to give three branches, three different locations or three different branches are going to be given. First will be the ganglionic branches, that is all the branches to the pterygopalatine ganglion. Second will be to zygomatic. And third will be posterior superior alveolar. So these are the three branches. Kaun kaun si hai? Ganglionic branch, zygomatic branch, and posterior superior alveolar, or you can say PSA. Okay. So ganglionic branches kaun kaun si hogi? It will be orbital. Now what are the branches of pterygopalatine ganglion? So wohi branches. Aapki maxillary now dekhi that will be orbital, greater palatine, lesser palatine, nasal, pharyngeal, and Lacrimal. So these are just the names we'll discuss the pterygopalatine ganglion differently but just to inform you guys these are the branches of pterygopalatine ganglion. So these first will be ganglionic branches. The second branch which which will be given is the zygomatic branch. Now this zygomatic branch kaha se it is going to it is going to be given after the ganglionic branch and before the posterior superior alveolar the, the zygomatic branch is going to be divided again into two branches that is zygomatico temporal and zygomatico facial so first it will run as a single branch and then divide into two branches that is zygomatico temporal and zygomatico facial right now the third branch which is given is posterior superior alveolar now this posterior superior alveolar is going to supply the Posteriority that is apart from the mesiobuccal root of maxillary first molar, the distobuccal root and the palatal root along with second and third molar are going to be supplied by the posterior superior alveolar and also the adjoining part of gingiva. So posterior superior alveolar is going to supply first molars, distobuccal and palatal root and second and third molar wholly and also the adjoining tissues. So this was about the second division that is in the pterygopalatine. Fossa. Now third division will be your in the infraorbital canal. Now this after giving the posterior superior alveolar, it is again going to run forward into the infraorbital canal. Now before just entering the infraorbital canal, it is going to give a branch that is middle superior alveolar. Now this comes the third division. Okay, third division has only two branches that is middle superior alveolar and anterior superior 
एलवेलर तो जस्ट बिफोर जैसे ही वो इंफ्रॉर्मेटल केनाल को एंटर करने वाली होगी उससे पहले एक ब्रांच दे देगी दैट विल बी मिडल सुपीरियर एलवेलर नाउ दिस मिडल सुपीरियर एलवेलर विल सप्लाई द मेजियो बकल रूट ऑफ फर्स्ट मोलर विच वॉज नॉट सप्लाइड बाई पोस्टीरियर सुपीरियर एलवेलर मतलब जो भी मेजियो बक्कल रूट रह गया था वो कौन सप्लाई करेगा मिडल सुपीरियर एलवेलर उसके साथ साथ बोथ द प्रीमोलर आर फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड प्रीमोलर आर ऑल्सो सप्लाइड बाई दिस नो Now next is the anterior superior alveolar now division that will be given into the infraorbital canal. So after entering into the infraorbital canal, एक बार जब वो enter कर जाएगी, then it is going to give its second branch that is anterior superior alveolar now. Now this anterior superior alveolar now is going to supply the anterior that is upper central and lateral incisors along with the canine then maxillary sinus will also be supplied and anterior inferior aspect of nasal. cavity so these are the three four areas where anterior superior alveolar nerve is going to supply now after exiting the infraorbital canal it is going to lastly exit the infraorbital foramen after coming out jaise hi wo infraorbital canal se bahar niklegi it is going to cross the infraorbital foramen and directly come over the face and give three branches that is palpebral nasal and labial so these are the three branches on the face So again, we'll revise it quickly. Maxillary now, before entering or before leaving the middle cranial fossa, it will give a branch that is meningeal branch, which is first division. Then it will cross and leave the middle cranial fossa through foramen rotundum. After that, first branch will be ganglionic, that will be in the pterygo palatine fossa. Along with that, zygomatic, which will be divided into two: zygomatico temporal and zygomatico facial. And third branch will be posterior superior alveolar, which will supply the distobacal root and palatal root of first molar along with second and third molar and adjoining tissue then after entering or before just entering the infraorbital canal it will give a branch that is middle superior alveolar now this becomes a third division then in the canal the second branch that is anterior superior alveolar middle will supply both the premolars and mesiobuccal root of first molar anterior superior alveolar will supply central incisor lateral incisor canine then maxillary sinus and some part of anterior inferior uh, area of the nasal cavity then leaving the infraorbital foramen it will give three branches on the face that is palpebral nasal and labial so i hope so this is clear the maxillary now next we will discuss about the pterygo palatine ganglion i hope so you guys understood the concept and if you enjoyed the video then please like share and subscribe our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get regular updates of such interesting lectures thank you